This video demonstrates the use of FPS Graph. It is a profiling utility available for the Unity 3D Asset Store. Today we'll be looking at three common tweening engines for the Unity engine. Lean tween, hot tween, and I tween. We're going to be comparing performance and memory usage. News FPS Graph is a memory profiler that uh, mostly tells you how much garbage collection um, is being used. It doesn't really profile uh, video RAM or the GPU unit, um, but for our tests it's perfect because we're really looking at the uh, script performance. Let's start with the baseline. This is just 2,000 boxes on the screen. Um, you can see it's running about 30 frames per second. That uh, whirring audio you hear is FPS graph. That's an option you have. You can have audio feedback. Um, it's and this is all being done on an iPad too. Uh, so at with 2,000 boxes on the baseline, it's running at about 30 frames per second. Now let's go to Lean Tween, animating 2,000 boxes uh, once every second. Uh, you can see it's not much different than the baseline, a little higher, but that's to be expected. And it is using 0.8 megabytes of RAM. I'm sorry, uh, if you didn't notice before, the baseline uses about 0.6 megabytes of RAM. So that is about a 30% increase. Next, let's move on to Hot Tween. Uh, as you can see, this uh, has some frame rate hiccups. Uh, it goes to about three frames per second. And at other times, between those hiccups, it's going about, uh, I'd say, 15 frames per second. It's also using about 2.7 megabytes of RAM, so that's about four times the uh, baseline, or 400% compared to Lean Tween's 30%. Um, so that's a pretty big leap. Um, let's move on to iTween. And iTween is the most popular used tweening engine out there. And you may start to question why that is, because this frame rate is terrible, unacceptable for any game. Um, Sure, we're tweening 2,000 boxes, but as you'll see later, even at very few uh, elements being tweened, it also breaks down. It's also using about six times the baseline of, uh, for memory usage, which is uh, about 600% compared to Lean Tween's 30%. So, uh, yeah, that's not great. <laughs> So that's memory usage. Now let's try to see where, where, at what point uh, each tweening engine breaks down. Uh, we're on iTween, so let's continue with iTween. Let's go to 250 cubes animating every second. Come on, iTween. You can do it. Come on. All right, we're there. So 250 cubes animated every second isn't a lot of elements being animated but you can see it's dropping to about five frames per second. And five frames per second is unacceptable performance. Um, I'm using pretty much anything below 10 frames per second is unacceptable performance. So high tween fails at 250 frames per second, probably would fail uh, 250 boxes, probably fail with even less. So really can't recommend that tweening engine for anybody, particularly if you're doing mobile and even desktop, you don't want that overhead. Next, let's move to Hot Tween. So Hot Tween's doing pretty well with 250 cubes. It is having some spikes, but everything is below, above uh, 30 frames per second, so it's great. Let's go to 500 cubes. Uh, it's starting to struggle a little bit, but yeah, it's doing fine. It's above 10 frames per second, then that's my baseline of where it becomes unacceptable. Now let's do a 1,000 cubes. Okay, this is about where it breaks down. It's going above 10 frames per second, um, 
and you can see the animation is getting jerkier. So hot tween tops out at a thousand cubes. Now let's go to lean tween. At a thousand cubes, it is still going faster than 30 frames per second. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, you can see how impressive it is by comparing it to the baseline where there are just a thousand cubes on the screen. It almost looks identical. Um, you can, there's slight spikes on the lean tween, but it's pretty much the same, which is, I mean, it's pretty impressive. Okay, let's go back to animating. So, thousand cubes, doing fine. Now let's go to 2000. So, it is still doing great, around 20 frames per second. Um, the spikes aren't very high. Uh, I would say this is acceptable performance and this is twice the level that Hot Tween can do, and much more than Hot Tween. Now let's go to 4,000 cubes animating every second on an iPad 2. Um, so it's getting very close to breaking down at this point, um, but what my baseline is is 10 frames per second. Uh, it is still mostly above 10 frames per second, so I'd say it still passes at 4,000 cubes, and that's pretty impressive. That is four times the amount of hot tween and uh, I don't know, 20, uh, many times what I tween breaks down at. So now let's go to a ridiculous amount of cubes animating every second, 8,000. Um, let's bring it to its knees. And it is being brought to its knees, but it's pretty remarkable that it's still moving uh, at around 8 frames per second um, with spikes to 5 frames per second. And it's really just a matter of there just being a lot of cubes on the screen because if you compare the baseline, that also is brought to its knees. So you can see really how little overhead Lean Tween does add for, for tweening cubes. Right, I hope uh, that gives you a good idea of the performance of the different tweening engines. This source code is available on deadedpixel.com. You can download it, break it apart, analyze it, point out flaws in my logic. I do recommend all types of feedback. Thanks, guys. Oh, and let me leave you with iTween attempting to animate 8,000 cubes per second. It's gonna, you may want to plug your ears. This is gonna hurt. Ah, uh, okay, thanks guys. It's just gonna freeze up like this, so don't bother watching anymore.